Hey, what's cracking, guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Grilled and marinated steak served over a spicy herb salad. That's what we got for you today. These steaks that we're going to be using are going to be the steaks that I did in a previous video where we dry aged them in our refrigerator using the Umai system. We're also going to sous vide these steaks and then finish them off the grill. Now, if you don't have a sous vide machine, that's okay. You can just take them right out of the marinade and throw them on the grill and you'll be perfectly fine. But anyway, if you remember when I did that Umai dry aging video, I was having some problems with my vacuum sealer. A company called Consori reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out one of their vacuum sealers. So that is what we're going to be trying out today. But it's not just going to be a video on this. I'm not going to do a full review on it at this point. We're just going to kind of showcase this thing. Anyway, so we'll go through that too. But the main thing is, is going to be these steaks and they are going to be awesome. We got everything laid out here. We're going to go ahead and take our shallots and uh, hopefully I'm not going in and out of focus here. Go ahead and throw them in your gallon Ziploc bag along with one-third cup of brown sugar, uh, got two tablespoons of grapeseed oil there. You could use olive oil or canola oil. Two teaspoons of uh, pepper and a quarter cup of soy sauce. I actually prefer this brand right here. You can't go wrong. You can use the less sodium version too. Okay, so now we're just going to uh, seal this up and just kind of mix it about and uh, then we'll put our steaks in here. All right, so here's our steaks. Let's go ahead, these are some beautiful dry aged steaks that we did with the Umai system. You can check out that video, uh, you know, somewhere, maybe over here or something. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get these steaks prepared. Right. Steak number two. All right, we're gonna seal these up and we're gonna marinate these things for about, uh, I don't know, we'll probably do 24 hours. Yeah, uh, you can do it maybe for an hour, but the longer you mar marinate, the better. <clears throat> oh, by the way, guys, make sure when the, when you put these in your refrigerator, just kind of flip them every now and again, you know, uh, while you're marinating. Just make sure they got a really good coating. All right, guys, so it's been 24 hours, and after reading the manual in, on this, I realized I probably didn't have to wait 24 hours to marinate because we could have used the marinate function if I would have had the tools to do it. But we don't. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and just go over a few functions of this in case you're interested. It won't take but a second. And then we're going to seal up our meat. I did call an audible. We're only going to be sous vide one of these steaks. The other steaks, we're going to be just grilling it using the reverse sear method. All right. So it comes with these pre- uh, sealed packages here and it also comes with a roll and we're just going to go ahead and use this roll here because it's a little bit smaller all right so the first thing we want to do is as you can see it's on a roll it's open right here so you're going to open up your consori by pushing these little two tabs on here and then you'll open it up and as we open it up you probably can't see that but there's some numbers on here uh, sizes and whatnot this thing well i think it's 11.8 inches in width as far as the ceiling capacity is. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick our roll here in the back. You probably can't see that. And then right here, this lifts up here. This little, there's a little tab here and that's your cutting tool. Let's we'll go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and uh, kind of figure out our, kind of eyeball our steak here. And that looks good. That might be a little bit too big. And then you'll take this little doohickey here and that cuts it. We'll remove that. All right, so now we got two open ends here. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and seal one of these off. You want about two inches of space here. So we just make sure it's in the holes. Press down until you hear a click. 
Now we're just going to hit the manual setting here, which is only, it's no vacuum, it's only going to seal. By the way, these lights that you keep seeing blinking there, um, they're solid lights. You're just seeing it because it's something to do with the camera. Okay, so we're sealed up. So you hit the tabs again, open it up, and as you can see, we're sealed. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our stake in here. Should've wore gloves with this. All right, again, so this stake is kind of moist, so we'll be using the moist setting. You wanna make sure you got two inches of sealing here. Make sure that your opening of the bag here is in that little channel here, or else it won't vacuum. And try to make sure this is clean. So we'll get a proper seal. Just like that. Push that down, lock it. Now, here comes some of the function. We have a normal setting and we have a gentle set setting. Uh, if you were gonna use the gentle, you might use that for pasta or a, like a hard pasta or something. But we're just gonna use normal. Alternate between that function, the normal and the gentle by hitting this pressure button right here. I'm not sure if you can read the writing on there or not. But anyway, we're going to stick with that normal and our food here. You can see if it's dry or moist, uh, we're going to hit the moist button and then we are going to hit this button right here, which is the vacuum seal. I'm liking that way better than my other one. Uh, normally that liquid would be feeding up through there. So really like the seal on that thing. You can see this light is lit up here. It just released. Hit your buttons. Bam. We got a perfectly sealed up piece of meat here, ready for the sous vide uh, machine. Okay, let's go over these last two little deals here. You got one that says canister on it, and then you have another button here that says marinade on it. And then you have the man, manual seal. We've already talked about the manual seal. The canister would be basically sealing up anything that was in a canister like ball, uh, glass mason jars. You basically how that function works is you, it's a, an, an added attachment and I'm not, not sure if Contori sells it or not, but you put your stuff in the jar, put the metal lid on it without the ring, then you slip this contraption over the top and then you can vacuum seal that you know like pastas rice beans um anything you might want to re repackage quinoa anything like that okay moving on to this marinade section which is a very interesting function here uh and i will do a video on this later but basically you they sell these containers with, I guess it's some kind of a you know, venting thing on there. And then you would use this attachment here, which fits onto your container. And then this would plug into the side over here. And then you would hit that marinate function. Now, that bowl or container or whatever, you put your meat in there like steak and then you put your liquid in there. And then apparently what this does is instead of marinating for four hours or 24 hours, they say it's almost like it's instantaneous. So I guess draws the liquid or whatever into the meat. We're gonna have to try that out. Anyway, the consori guys, I know you're tired of hearing me run my mouth about that. So let's get to sous vide these steaks and grilling them. While we're waiting for our steak to rest, let's go ahead and put this salad together. I got some spring mix here, just, just a plastic container. Right here, I got one cup of green grapes, a, a red jalapeno, a quarter cup of cilantro, a quarter cup of fresh basil, about one uh, green onion. I got a quarter cup of julienne carrots, and about a quarter cup of watermelon radish now again guys all of this is it's about what you like so if you don't want to put all this stuff in there you don't have to okay so we're going to put that in there then we're going to follow it with two tablespoons of rice vinegar i'm using a, a citrus rice vinegar and then we're going to follow up with some salt and pepper so let's go ahead we're just going to 
to dump all this in like so. All right, gonna go ahead and uh, put our two tablespoons of rice vinegar on there and then a generous bit of salt, a generous deal of pepper, and now we are going to toss. I'm gonna attempt to you know, do it with these things. We'll see. Yeah. Right. Okay, so this is our sous vide steak. Let's go ahead and we've let it rest. Go ahead and cut into that. We'll trim it up. Not bad. Okay, we're just gonna trim this up and get the fat off of it so we can lay it on our salad. So now that we've taken all our pitchers and our lettuces all wilted and whatnot, let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything here so I can tell you what the deal is. Sorry. Um, okay. I got jalapeno. I got everything. I need some steak. So, all right, here we go. All right. Let me finish chewing first. All right. So... Wow, that is like an explosion of a lot of flavors going on at one time, but not in a bad way. It's good. You got the crispness of the watermelon radish. You got the meatiness of the, the steak along with the saltiness, that, that sauce that I didn't mention that we reduced down that marinade by half. The spiciness is not too spicy. Man, the steak is fantastic. There is a little bit of you know, it's not edge to edge pink, which I'm a little disappointed on that, but cut me some slack. That was the first time I ever used the Kudu grill. What do you think about the marinade? The marinade is awesome. It's not too salty. That sugar, I mean, this is my recommendation. I know a lot of you people are not into, you know, a lot of sodium. I don't recommend using less sodium in the marinade, you know, the, the less sodium um, soy, sauce? soy sauce, yeah. I say use full sodium because the brown sugar just balances everything out. I know I'm going on and on about this, guys, but I also want to say in conclusion about this because the, the consori that we use to vacuum seal that, I personally, at this point, I've only used it one time, but I like the consori um, vacuum sealer better than I do the food saver at this point only time will tell but anyway guys the consori vacuum sealer and this marinated grilled steak salad or spicy herb salad you gotta do it